What's good, guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. It's your girl, Sindel. Kidding, yo. Anyways, it's your boy, Race Blaze. If you're new to the channel, remember to subscribe to all that great stuff. All right, y'all. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to apply my control rig template in Unreal Engine 5. Now, it's a little bit different, but still similar. So let's get straight into the video. And um, yeah, see you guys soon. All right, y'all. So um, when you get my template, um, I'm going to show you guys the procedure on how you can apply it in you know your project so basically um let me just open the file here so basically when you get my uh templates you're gonna be having this asset so this is like the template asset of obviously so what I, what you want to do is you want to copy this and then you want to go to your project right and then just paste it inside of the character so paste there as you can see, it already appears or shows in our viewports. So I'm just going to rename this to uh, Sindel Rig. Okay. So I'm going to open this up. Just going to open this up real quick. All right, y'all. So we open this up. And uh, obviously, you can see that it is still same thing with you know um, on engine 4 is just the viewport is a little bit different so obviously the first thing you want to do is you want to go to the preview scene mesh and then click on your skeleton so you know the controller can identify what skeleton is being attached to so now the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go to the example heaps here and i'm going to go to sindel to refresh it now for some reason um, you don't really see any skeleton appear. I don't know if this is a uh, an error. A again, Unreal Engine Five is in beta, so you know I I don't. Yeah, <laughs> let's wait to the full version. But anyways, it still like you know uh, worked in that way. So I'm just gonna disconnect this, right? So now it's time to adjust um, our our controllers to the appropriate joints. So there is a slight difference in how we're gonna do this. So basically, I'm gonna go to copy control c which is and then i'm going to paste in my hips area which is paste global transform so this will appear here all right so i just want to mention something so um in Unreal engine 5 the only difference is when we do this in Unreal engine 4 all you just have to do is copy and paste you know the, the into the controls and then the location stays that way but in Unreal Engine 5, you guys should check this out. If I connect this, and then I say compile, you see it, it, it didn't really adjust properly. So, yeah. So how do we fix that? So let's let's minim, uh, remove that. So pretty much what you just need to do is to copy this, right? And then you are going to paste global transform. And then you have to do additional work by just setting initial transform from currents. Okay, so now if I connect this back, it's gonna stay. It's gonna stay exactly the same position. So that's the only difference I found. All right. So let's go ahead to quickly do the rest. Um, it's not a big deal. It's just you know I, I think it's because the system is still in beta. That's why. Anyways, that's what I think. So let's do the rest real quick. Copy this and then paste it here. Go to our neck area. I'm not sure if I copied the spine too. Let me just do that again. Yeah, I didn't do it. Uh, so the neck too. Let's just make this easier for us. Copy this, paste this. Then the head, copy and paste. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold down shift. And then set initial from current so everything will be set from current so let's quickly do the hands as well so i'm not going to do the fingers uh, so let's see so our hand section so basically the hands is the same procedure as well again that's the only difference i found but it actually still works properly i'm just hoping that um Origin 5 when it comes out fully, it's it's gonna be good, you know, because really there's a lot of bugs in this beta. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm gonna set initial from current, 
Do the same for the right shoulders. Okay, right arms. Okay, right forearm. Right hand. All right, so we just want to set initial from current as well. Now let's do the legs real quick. So legs is here. Left toe is here. And then the, the knee is pretty much here. And the right leg, right foot here. Right toe is here. And then the right leg is here. So let's go ahead to drag this out. Drag this out with the knee. Okay. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna hold down this and select all this to set all this from current. All right, y'all. So pretty much that's everything you need to do. And now if we connect this back, you can see that it actually worked properly. There isn't any issues. So if I bend down, it bends. So yeah, that is the only difference I found, you know, when using my control rig. Just that you have to just do additional step there. Let me, let me auto. So the knee works, right? Anyways, yo, that's pretty much the only difference I found. Everything actually still works properly. So let's go to our, um, we're gonna delete her here and then bring in the Sunday Reach. All right, sweet. So you guys can see that this still works. Now, um, if you want, you can actually move this knee like close to the, to the knee area you don't have to put it in this position here okay it's just for for us when we're trying to you know connect the knee to the actual joints we have to do this but you can see everything works our character jumps she's happy head works as well right neck works so yeah, pretty much um, that's how you um, you set that up, and um, yeah. So let me actually just bring this to the LBP so I can have animation. So as you can see, this works really nice. Um, <laughs> it's crazy, really crazy what we can do in these modern times. That is. So yeah, pretty much that's everything about how you set this up in Unreal Engine 5. Now, again, I'm selling this, um, I'm selling my, you know, template for $50. You guys can email me to send in your request and I'll pretty much, you know, have that delivered to you by email as well. So if you're interested, let me know. Okay. So I can send it to you and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope this video helped. Hmm. Have a good day. Bye.